Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will talk about photoelectric transducers. Following topics will be covered in this video. First, I will explain the types of photoelectric transducer, then construction, working advantages, disadvantages and applications of this photoelectric transducer. Let us see what is photoelectric transducer. So, the photoelectric transducer converts the light energy into electrical energy. Simply it is one transducer which converts light energy into electrical energy. It is made up of semiconductor material. It uses a photosensitive element. Now we know that it is converting light energy into electrical energy. So definitely there should be something which is converting light energy into electrical energy. So, some photosensitive elements are used which ejects the electrons when the beam of light absorbs through it. Here are the types of photoelectric transducer. The first one is photoemissive transducer. Second one is the photovoltaic transducer. And the last one is photoconductive transducer. Let us see it one by one. The first one is photoemissive transducer. So, uh, the properties of photoemissive cell or phototube are used in photoelectric transducer. Basically, photoemissive transducer are the transducer which, which emits electrons when the light falls on it. We know that the particles of light are actually photons. When it falls on the uh, some photosensitive material like calcium antimony. It will eject electrons and therefore the current flow will be there. Now in this case the whole assembly is actually mounted on the glass envelope as shown in the figure. This is the cathode of the photoemissive transducer. Then this one is the anode of a photoemissive transducer. Here are the two terminals uh, in this case uh, for the photoemissive transducer. Now, the, the whole assembly is actually enclosed in the evacuated glass tube. Here is the photograph for the photoemissive transducer. This is the symbol for photoemissive transducer. Now, let us see the working for the photoemissive transducer. In this case, this is the assembly of the photoelectric transducer. Now, we know that uh, here the anode is actually connected to positive terminal of the battery and cathode is connected to negative terminal of the battery. It means that we have connected them in a forward bias mode and a deflection meter is connected here. Now, in normal condition, when light will not fall on the cell, it will not uh, conduct uh, the current and therefore, overall, there will be no deflection in the meter. But as light will incident on the cathode of the photoemissive cell, in this case, the it will emit the electron and that electrons are captured by this anode because this anode terminal is positive positive here the electrons will be attracted towards the anode and therefore the current will start uh, start flowing from this anode to cathode and overall the current will be dependent on the amount of light fall it means that the magnitude of the current is directly proportional to the intensity of light passed through it Next is photoconductive transducer. Here, the photoconductive transducer is nothing but a register. When light incident on it, its registers will change. Basically, the operation is based on the photo effect that was discovered by Albert Einstein. Here is an example of photoconductive transducer. This is a diagram for the LDR that is light dependent resistance. In this case, some photosensitive material will be required and therefore, the materials for the photoconductive transducers are cadmium sulphide 
or a cadmium selenide here the material is actually here spreaded in zigzag pattern just like this now uh, these are the two terminals which are actually here and this one is the ceramic base now uh, the symbol for the LDR is shown here now let's move through the working now in this case when the beam of light falls on the semiconductor material the conductivity increases and material works like a closed switch here is the arrangement for the photoconductive transducer in this case here positive terminal is applied and negative terminal is applied again a deflection type meter is used here when the light is incident on the semiconductor material here the conductivity increases it means that the resistance of this material will decrease and therefore the current will start flowing through the circuit and therefore we therefore there will be deflection in the meter now let's see some advantages and disadvantages of the photo photoconductive transducer the photoconductive cell is made up of cadmium sulfonide uh, sulfoselenide can be used in infrared region if you want to use it in infrared region then only the material should be changed they can be operated using low voltages so overall low voltage is required now let's see some disadvantages the resistance varies due to change in temperature okay so uh, only light will not affect the output of the circuit also the temperature they cannot be used for the analog application this is the second and again important disadvantage now let's see the applications here so they are used in burglar alarm then light control switches and control circuits they are used to measure the attenuation of the light then in industrial control equipment to count the number of packages so it can be used as an object counter now next one is photovoltaic cell when we say photovoltaic it means it senses that generates the output electric voltage in response to light when light energy is uh, falling on the uh, photovoltaic cell it converts that light energy into electrical signal and therefore we can say that it is an active transducer so photo sensor are similar to the photo sensor except that the photo cell is used as an electricity source rather than the sensor of radiation so we can say that uh, here the photovoltaic cell generates the electrical energy now remember which cell actually generates the electrical energy it is nothing but known as solar cell so we can have the example for photovoltaic cell is the solar cell and here when solar radiation falls on the solar plate it will create the electrical energy so typically solar cell is a semiconductor junction uh, element made up of material such as single crystal silicon or polycrystalline silicon and a cadmium sulfide so we can say that these are the materials required for the solar cell and this is the symbol for photovoltaic cell or solar cell solar cell just look like this which when we consider a single piece of solar cell when semiconductor material absorbs heat the free electrons of the material start moving and this phenomena is known as photovoltaic effect the movement of these electrons develop the current in the cell and the current is known as photoelectric current the same current is actually known as photoelectric current let here it be i and uh, therefore we can connect it to load or a battery so that the battery can be charged with the help of this photovoltaic cell now let's see some advantages of photovoltaic transducer here they generate the voltage without using any form of external source and they have fast response too now let's see the application of photovoltaic transducers they can be used as a 
energy converter we know that it converts the solar energy into electricity and therefore it can be used as energy converter then used in spacecraft data processing uh, industries switching and trigger circuits are based applications and lastly we can say that they uh, they can be used to determine the width of material processing so that's all for the photoelectric transducers in next video i will talk about the photo sensors and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you